NHL by the era, the early years. In this episode, I'll be talking about the early years of the NHL leading up to the original six era. This is a new mini series I have on my channel called NHL by the era. The National Hockey League was established in 1917 as a successor to the National Hockey Association, also known as NHA. Founded in 1909, the NHA began play in 1910, with seven teams in Ontario and Quebec, and was one of the first major leagues in professional ice hockey. By its eighth season, a series of disputes with Eddie Livingston, owner of the Toronto Blue Shirts, led to the owners of the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal Wanderers, Ottawa Senators, and Quebec Bulldogs to hold a meeting to discuss the league's future. Realizing the NHA constitution left them unable to force Livingstone out, the four teams voted instead to suspend the NHA and on November 26, 2017, formed the National Hockey League. The NHL's first superstar was Phantom Joe Malone, a two-time NHA scoring champion. Malone scored five goals for the Montreal Canadiens in a 7-4 victory over the Ottawa Senators on the NHL's opening night. Malone went on to record a league-leading 44 goals in 20 games in the 1917-18 season and led the league in scoring again in the 1919-20 season, scoring 39 goals in 24 games with Quebec. Joe Malone finished his NHL career with 143 goals and 175 points in 126 games and was elected into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1950. Beginning in 1921, the NHL faced competition from the Prairie-based Western Canada Hockey League, also known as WCHL, and by 1924 had merged with the PCHA to challenge the NHL for the Stanley Cup four times. In the 1923 Stanley Cup Finals, the Ottawa Senators defeated the Edmonton Eskimos after eliminating the PCHA's Vancouver Millionaires. In 1924, the Canadians defeated the PCHA's Millionaires and WCHL's Calgary Tigers on the strength of two shutouts by George Vezina and a strong offensive showing by rookie forward Howie Morenz. In the 1925 Stanley Cup Finals, the Victoria Cougars defeated the Montreal Canadiens three games to one in a best of five final. In doing so, they became the last non-NHL team to win the Stanley Cup. The National Hockey, the NHL embarked on a rapid expansion in the 1920s, adding the Montreal Maroons and Boston Bruins in 1924. The Bruins became the first American team to join the league. The New York Americans began play in 1925 after purchasing the assets of the Hamilton Tigers and were joined by the Pittsburgh Pirates. The New York Rangers were added in 1926 and the Chicago Blackhawks and Detroit Cougars, later the Red Wings, were added to the league after purchasing the assets of the defunct WCHL. On February 14, 1927, the Toronto St. Patrick's were sold to a group represented by Con Smythe for $160,000 and was subsequently renamed the Toronto Maple Leafs. In 1930, Smythe acquired star defenseman King Clancy from a financially struggling Ottawa Senators team for $35,000 which was an unprecedented price to play for one player. To pay for one player. Smythe also envisioned building a new shrine for his team and set out to build a new arena for the Maple Leafs. Maple Leaf Gardens opened on November 12, 1931. Maple Leaf Gardens featured the famous gondola, a famous broadcast booth specially constructed for Foster Hewitt. Hewitt began broadcasting hockey games in 1923 on CFCA and by 1931 had established himself as the voice of hockey in Canada. With his famous catchphrase, he shoots, he scores. On January 1st, 1933, Leafs broadcasts were heard across Canada on 20 stations of CN Radio's successor, CRBC, today known as CBC. In 1932, five years after Smythe's promise, the Leafs won the Stanley Cup in three games over the Rangers. One of the most iconic players during the early years of the NHL is Boston Bruins defenseman Eddie Shore, who was known to be a very skilled player, but also for his violent style of play. Shore won the Hart Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player four times, the most of any defenseman. Only Wayne Gretzky and Gordie Howe have won it more often. Although Eddie Shore was a star player, he was no stranger to controversy, the most infamous of which is when he ended the career of Ace Bailey, Eddie Shore decked him from behind, which caused Bailey to fall and hit his head on the ice. Howie Morenz was known as Montreal's first superstar player, winning the Hart Trophy three times and led the league in scoring two times. He died of a coronary embolism as a result of complications of his leg injury sustained when Chicago Blackhawks defenseman Earl Siebert fell on his leg during a game. 
Howie Morenz was remembered by members of the media as the Babe Ruth of hockey and was the standard that superstars after were measured. The early years of the NHL were far from smooth sailing, but fortunately the league's decision to trim the league down to six teams allowed the league to flourish and would enter the golden age of hockey.